हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड आफ्टरनून एवरी वन टू डे माई माई नेम इज़ भक्ति बटाविया असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर वर्किंग इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ अकाउंटेंसी इन सी के टी कॉलेज न्यू पनवेल ऑटोनॉमस टूडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग सब्जेक्ट फॉर टी वाई बी कॉम स्टूडेंट्स दैट इज कॉस्ट अकाउंटिंग एंड दिस सब्जेक्ट इज इंट्रोड्यूसिंग यू फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम सो वी विल बी लर्निंग द बेसिक्स ऑफ कॉस्ट अकाउंटिंग दैट इज़ वाई टूडेज टॉपिक इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू कॉस्ट अकाउंटिंग now for learning cost accounting subject you should understand the four elements one is cost another is costing another is cost reporting and control and then you should jump to cost accounting before going to cost accounting you should know what is cost what is costing and what is cost reporting and control so let's see one by one what is meant by cost when i ask you what is cost cost is all the measurement which is used in monetary terms so cas 1 that is cost accounting standard 1 defines cost is a measurement in monetary terms of the amount of resources used for the purpose of production of goods and rendering services so cost is all the elements which are measured in monetary terms for manufacturing one product when i say if this table has to get manufacture what are the elements used to measure uh, what are the element used for manufacturing this table so we can say the wood can be used all the instrument can be you the wood can be used all the instrument can be used and the workers are required for making this table from the wood so the expenses for the wood expenses for all the instrument and the payment given to the workers are included for manufacturing this table so all this will be considered as cost so this is the first element another element is you should understand how to calculate cost so the how to calculate cost when you get the answer for this it it becomes costing so costing means the technique and the process of a settlement of cost in simple words costing will answer how to calculate cost so firstly you should understand what is cost it is nothing but measuring all the elements of cost in monetary terms another is you should understand what is costing that is how to calculate cost okay so this is the two terms we will move on to the third term that is costing it involves collecting cost it involves classifying cost it involves allocating cost this means first we should identify what are the different cost which is related to our production system we should understand what kind of materials are required what kind of what kind of workers are required which process to be used so we have to identify the cost into different elements which are the direct cost which are the indirect cost we will understand that in next lecture but now you should understand what are the different types of cost Uh, that is required for costing process then we can classify the cost and we can allocate the cost so these three elements becomes important for and taking the costing process in smooth manner next is we have cost reporting after classify after uh, after costing the we have to go on to the next step that is cost reporting it means presentation of information derived from cost accounting for the purpose of management decision making when we calculate the cost when we follow the costing process the entire proof of this will go to cost reporting so when we do when we want to have reporting of the cost first we should calculate the cost we should follow the costing process then only we can go for the reporting after costing reporting we have cost control this becomes very important element to control the cost cost control is the guidance and regulation by executive action of cost of operating and undertaking we should control the cost how we can utilize the raw material for manufacturing the product that becomes important process we have to control the cost so that the cost can be minimized so before understanding cost accounting subject you should understand four element one is cost another is costing another is cost reporting and cost control so after going to this we can go on to the subject 
cost accounting you should not directly jump on to the subject you should have first the basic understanding of all these three elements now cost accounting is a broader concept which involves all these elements you can see on the screen cost accounting is costing plus cost reporting plus cost control so this becomes cost accounting so i hope these four elements are clear to you now these are the basic terms which are used in cost accounting moving on to the very important element from your 11th standard you all are doing bookkeeping you all are doing your financial accounting so you should understand what is the difference between financial accounting and cost accounting so let us discuss the difference between financial accounting and cost accounting so that it becomes easy for you to understand the subject cost accounting more easier next so we will be comparing the topic financial accounting and cost accounting you know my, my uh, meaning of the cost accounting very well as i explained earlier cost accounting deals with the expense related to manufacture of product so here in the cost accounting only those expense will be considered which is related to the manufacturing process but in the financial accounting all the expenses which are related to the manufacturing as well as in other areas everything will be considered so financial accounting records all the transaction but cost accounting records only costing transaction which is related with manufacturing firm i hope the meaning of the financial accounting and cost accounting is clear to you moving on to the second point of comparison that is basis of financial accounting and basis of cost accounting financial accounting is based on all the financial transaction like i said earlier here all transaction will be recorded and here only actual transaction will be recorded which is uh, which has been occurred for at the time of manufacturing and the estimation will also be recorded that means if we want to manufacture one pen so what will be the cost of one pen we will be estimating in future so we will guess the estimation and suppose if one pen, one pen is for costing for rupees 10 and the actual expenses for making one pen is comes to 8 rupees so here 2 rupees has been saved for us so that means we are controlling the cost very well so this is of basis of financial accounting is financial transaction and basis of cost accounting is all the actual occurrence of manufacturing process the third point of comparison is what are the which are the parties involved in financial accounting and in cost accounting financial accounting is concerned with external parties and cost accounting is concerned with internal department and internal parties because for controlling the cost the cost will be controlled by all the employers or all the business owners they will be manufacturing the product they will be analyzing the cost of the product what can be the cost what can be the material will be used so the cost will be totally controlled by the internal departmental level but financial transaction is concerned with external parties moving on to the next comparative point financial account uh, the scope of financial accounting and cost accounting the financial accounting relates to all commercial transaction of the organization during particular period and the cost accounting is related to particular product or a service which is related to again manufacturing so here you have to keep one thing in mind cost accounting is always related with manufacturing of a product but financial accounting will record all the transaction all the commercial transaction another point of comparison is final statement what will be the final reporting of financial accounting what will be the final report of the cost accounting the final statement of the final accounting is divided into two part that is profit and loss account and balance sheet you know very well you all are learning the financial accounting from uh, the 11th standard so in financial accounting we prepare trading and pnl account and we prepare balance sheet but in cost accounting it is only one part whereby we focus on cost statement so this is one of the important element whereby we have to learn how to make cost statement that is cost sheet so that we will be learning in the next coming classes moving on to the next comparison that is financial uh, the valuation of stock you know very well in financial accounting the valuation of stock can be done at the lower lowest of cost and the market value 
but here in the cost accounting stocks are always valued at cost you should keep this thing in mind because it is a cost accounting that is why the stocks are always valued at cost but in the financial accounting which value whichever value is lower will be considered as in valuation of stock another is purpose of financial accounting and cost accounting why we are doing you know very well the main purpose of financial accounting is to prepare pnl account and balance sheet you know the structure of making the financial statement firstly we record the transaction in journal proper then we record we pass the entries in ledger after pass passing the entries in the ledger we make trial balance and after that only we prepare financial statement so the main purpose of financial accounting is to prepare pnl account and to prepare balance sheet but the main purpose of cost accounting is to provide detailed information to the management whereby the cost controlling has to be done so to record to control the cost is the major purpose of cost accounting that is why the main purpose of cost accounting is to provide detailed information to the management the nature of financial accounting is concerned with historical record why historical record because here we record the past dated transaction in the entire financial year all the transaction has been occurred that will be recorded in the financial accounting suppose say for example the rent has been paid so rent might be paid on first november uh, first september so that has to be recorded while we are uh, making the financial statement in the month of february or march whenever we are making so that this will be depending on historical records but it is cost accounting is concerned with historical records but also with predetermined cost what is predetermined cost we understood that is estimated cost that means we are estimating the cost how the cost can be how the cost will be what the cost should be so that is why the cost accounting is always concerned with the predetermined cost next so what we learned today is your today's take away will be first we discussed the concept of cost it is related it is it is mon all the monetary terms for the manufacturing product we have also learned the concept of costing it is nothing but how to calculate cost process of cost then we learned concept of cost reporting and cost controlling and in last we discussed concept of cost accounting after completing these four steps we discussed comparison between financial accounting and cost accounting so you all have to understand before learning the cost accounting subject should be you should understand the cost costing reporting and then you should go on to the cost accounting so that's all for today in the next class we will be discussing the different classification of cost which is again very much important for understanding the cost accounting subject in detail thank you all happy learning